Hi, welcome to Bonita's Kitchen and thank you for joining us. I'm excited to bring to you today this tasty recipe for a macaroni salad. Now a few years back I shared with you uh, a recipe for what we call here in Newfoundland and Labrador cold plates and it's a traditional meal where we make um, a whole bunch of cold salads and have some cold cuts and, and tomato and such. I'll share that link with you. Well this one recipe today is a part of that one and I didn't share the macaroni salad so I thought hmm, it's a good time to do it because we're always looking for a salad to go with something. So if this recipe interests you and you like to know how, stick around and let's get started. Always an open door. Bonita's Kitchen to yours. Bonita's Kitchen. To yours. So what I got here is three cups of cooked um, elbow noodles and this is almost equal to two cups of uncooked cook it down put a little bit of olive oil over it and leave it at room temperature so we want that total room temperature we got some onion powder pepper sea salt paprika some dried mustard we got mayo you could use miracle whip or a, a whip um, a spread of choice. We got some green relish and we got a can of flaked ham. Over here we got our chopped celery, our chopped cheddar cheese. I mean you can use whatever cheese. Raymond likes a sharp cheese so whatever one you like to have. And a couple of uh, pieces of this um, bell peppers and we're only going to be putting it in little chunks the same as the cheese and those little uh, celery. So now let's put this together. Now I'm going to say everybody knows how to cook uh, macaroni noodles or noodles in general. Just follow the box um, on the cooking instructions and then take it out and put it at room temperature until it comes uh, because we don't want to go cooking the cheese and all this stuff because it don't need that. So, so that what was, was it, what was it we just put in there? I was just going to tell you that. Okay, thank you. That like was a, a teaspoonful of dried mustard and a half a teaspoonful of onion powder. So I already told you the ingredients. So I, that's why I was just putting it in because I already just told the ingredients. I just right. like making notes. Do you? Okay. So this is our pepper and a half a teaspoonful. Same thing with the sea salt, half a teaspoonful, and I'm gonna toss that in through first. So I got a quarter cup here of green relish or you can use whatever relish or pickle or whatever you like. This is just the ingredients that we like putting in ours and again um, you can substitute anything if um, if it's something there you don't like. I like the crunch of the celery. So this is two sticks of celery. And again, the peppers is just to give that nice color, that nice crunch. Um, More or less jazz it up a little bit. <laughs> jazz it up a little bit, Raymond. <laughs> I like putting in uh, as well the cheese. Some people like leaving it out. If you don't like it, leave it out, of course. And again, the other thing is the green onion. Uh, I'm saying about two stalks of green onion, but if um, you just want the green, uh, uh, just the onion powder, that's fine as well. But it kind of gives that little bit of garnish. And then I'm gonna toss this through. I always do this every time, Raymond. I get a bowl that I want to <laughs> serve it in. And instead of one that, you know, I can just toss and, and be easier to do that instead of putting it all over the counter. Yeah, I knew, <laughs> I knew there was a reason for them small bowls. But you know what? I was thinking of you. Yeah. Because I was thinking, <laughs> yes, if I get the big bowl there now and then go for a smaller one. I think I'm going to go for a raise. I'm <laughs> a dishwasher, cameraman. And now I have to clean up the counter. You're going to be something. I think I deserve extra raise. You do. This <laughs> is a half a cup of mayo. And again, you could use Miracle Whip or um, um, I'm going to say spread of choice. I'm going to cut this up, this flaked uh, ham, put this um, 
flake this up a little bit and toss that into it but that's all you need to do there what I'm going to do now is just toss this ham out onto my board and just give it a light chopping I suppose I could flake it apart too but uh, this is, let me just see, 156 grams of ham. You could use all of it or some of it. I'm going to cut it up in little pieces and use all of it. It's absolutely delicious in there. Raymond, I'm going to give you a little taste of the oh. <laughs> a little taste of the ham. You're getting too excited there, having a, a little taste. Now, I'm going is to, this my raise? <laughs> this is your raise, I'm telling you. You're getting fed well, Raymond. You are, <laughs> and everybody knows you are. Um, so put all of that ham into the bowl, and I'm going to toss that in there. Now, I'm hoping that you're all excited about making this salad, because like you said, there's not much to it, but this is a part of what we would call our traditional cold plate and I'll share that with you and actually I'll show you one here today what they look like adding in this salad of course so after you've tossed all of that together just flatten it down nicely like that and then take your paprika and spread over the top now you can top it again with some um, some onion if you want to or just leave it like that that's all we do and then we'll cover it with a bit of clear wrap so pretty much after you've done all of that you put some clear wrap over your bowl unless you got a bowl with a lid we usually use this glass bowls and have it that it's displayed like this because you put it out and then put it in your fridge until you're ready to serve it now i'm going to show you what a cold plate looks like and serve this up and have a little taste all right, so I have got one of these traditional cold plates that we would make here. Again, I know I've said it before, we'll share it with you um, in the link up above or down in the description bar. Um, I'm going to scoop up here now a nice helping of this macaroni salad and I'm going to have a little taste. Oh my gosh, Raymond, I can see even the neighbors right now saying i hope she's going to share this cold plate with with us is today is that one mine <laughs> that one is yours i'm going to i'm going to give you a fork here raymond with some on it but don't waste that oh, there you go time. I didn't there go. you go i'll give you this is clean counter <laughs> i'll give you this one here don't tip over that camera no now just look can you see yourself having one of these salads but making a cold plate or just having this delicious salad like this and serving it with whatever your favorite sides are. I'm going to have a little taste now and then tell you what it tastes like. Oh my gosh, Raymond. I know. We, we will be sharing this today, of course, because I got enough made to give out some cold plates. But I can't wait for our viewers to make this. What a delicious macaroni salad and a blend of all of that together. Oh my gosh. Mm. <coughs> Drop the fork and bowl delicious. <laughs> it's got that tanginess, Raymond. The, you can the dried mustard taste. You can taste the relish. I mean, all of the layers in there. Mm. And the longer you let it sit, I mean, it's good in your fridge up to three, four days, but ours never last that long. What were you going to say, Ray? <laughs> no, I was going to say, drop the dish delicious, but um, yeah, and it don't, don't last three or four days. It don't last three or four days. No. Not here, and I'm sure not in your own. I can even picture like, you know, like a quick barbecue pork chop or a steak. Oh yeah. And a coat. Oh yeah. You can go with so many things. I'm going to uh, tell you how you can get this recipe now. So I'm going to leave you the recipe down in under this video. You can also visit us on our Facebook page. Send us a message at bonnythekitchen at gmail.com. Visit us on our website www.bonnythiskitchen.com. So I hope you get to make this recipe real soon and leave us a message letting us know what you think of it. 
So I'm not going to take any more of your time. We do know it's precious. And on behalf of myself, Raymond, and our team, and from our kitchen to yours, you have a wonderful day. Join us by the sea, a journey in culinary, always an open door. Benita's Kitchen to yours, Benita's Kitchen, Benita's Kitchen, to yours. And don't forget to join us again on Bonita's Kitchen.